Hey guys, real quick before we start this video, I just want to ask you guys if you could just hit that like button and subscribe because I see that not a lot of you that are watching are actually subscribed and it would help us out a lot. So let's get into the video. Hey everyone, this is Stevie here and we're going to be drawing this flange here. Now the important part of this demonstration is how to use the revolve tool. Now the reason being is it's very difficult to <laughs> actually cut this out and do this if we were to just extrude like a square and then try to do it all from there. So what we're going to do is look down here, we're going to make an axis of revolution and then we're going to draw just this and we're going to revolve it around and then we'll just have to cut out these holes and do a little bit of other cleaning up and we'll have this object here. So first things first we're going to be drawing our axis of revolution. We'll create a sketch on this plane here and then we're going to select a construction line. It doesn't matter how tall it is and I'm just gonna draw one more line down here. So now we need to draw the this sketch here. Uh, so we'll, we'll start with this line here. We see that its distance away from our axis of revolution is the radius uh, which is 48 divided by 2 is 24 millimeters. So we will draw our line and we're going to dimensionalize that distance between them as 24 millimeters. And next we're going to make the height of this. We see that the overall height is going to be 24 plus 16, which is 40. 40 plus 32 is 72. So the overall height is 72 millimeters. And now I want to make these two points so that way it sits at the origin or like level with the origin. So we're going to click here and here and then click on this third point here. And now it's going to sit perfectly in line with the origin. It's collinear with the origin. So next thing we're going to do, we'll just roughly sketch out this design here. We know that it goes out, then down, then in, down, out again, down from there, in one more time, down, out here and then back to there. So that's roughly what it is. It's, it's not great but we can start dimensionalizing this. So first things first we'll see this line right here because if we dimensionalize this one and this one it will dimensionalize this one. So we're going to say that well 72 millimeters from this center point divided by 2 is 36. So we're going to do 36 or we can just do 72 divided by 2 press enter and now we're going to make these two collinear because they are the same. Next we know that we need to have this inside area here like this this line right here has to be 64 divided by 2 is 32 millimeters away from this center point so we're going to dimensionalize this oh, control Z hit the wrong button so we're going to click this once more and I said 32 so we'll press enter there and then we're going to make these two lines collinear that way it's in the same direction or I mean it's in the same position as this one now what we need to do is we need to get this distance here that is going to be up here it's 108 millimeters so 54 so we'll click here and here and type out 54. It still looks a bit chunky here so we're going to be making this 16 millimeters tall. 16 okay and now we see that this height of this little square section here is uh, 6 millimeters. So we'll make this 6 and the bottom one here is 8. And now that we have that we can just check here. That should be 24. Once we have that, then this one should be the right height, which is 24 minus 6. It's going to be 18. Should already be 18. Yep. And we don't even need to do it because it's constrained already. So now that all the lines are black, we have a fully constrained sketch. Now you're looking at these chamfers and fillets and you're like, well, what are those? Well, we'll get to those in a second once we make this a solid object. So we're going to finish our sketch. Next we're going to choose our revolve button right here. Now once it, it's selected our sketch already, 
And all we have to do is choose an axis of re revolution. So we're going to choose this is our axis and we can choose how many degrees but already it's at 360 which is what we wanted so all we have to do oh well let's say 360 and then press enter then just note we are making a new body here so we'll press ok and now this is starting to look like that flange so next thing that we need to do is take care of these fillets and these chamfers so we're going to see that we need to fillet it by four, a radius of four millimeters on the top and bottom here. So we can do that. We'll zoom in a little bit, click here, and hold shift and click here as well. Actually, if you look, it's the top and then it's the bottom one. So I chose the wrong one here. We're going to choose this one. Now we're going to go out here and type in four and press enter. And the same thing up here, we need a chamfer of four. So we're going to select the top and the bottom here. And we're going to go to our chamfer and type out four and press enter. And now that's starting to look exactly like this. The only thing we have to do left is add in those circles. So what we're going to do is create a sketch on this plane here. And we're just going to slice it so that way we can see a little bit better. We're going to choose a circle because right here it's giving us the diameter at which these circles are placed and that is going to be 88 millimeters. So we'll type in 88 and press enter. Next we see that there are 6 by 8 millimeter diameter circles so we'll do that next. We'll turn off construction and we'll click anywhere on this circle that we drew and we'll type in 8 and press enter. Now we need six of these, so we're going to go to our circular pattern here, select this, our center point right in the middle, and we'll type in six. And then we'll press enter. And that's starting to look correct. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now all we have to do is press Q to cut out, and we're just going to select those six circles here. And we're going to select two object to the other side, press enter, and there we have it. That to me looks identical. So that is how we use our revolve tool, how we use our circular pattern tool, and how we can basically just create a flange, a circular flange, from a single sketch. It's pretty neat and it allows us to have a lot of versatility by using that revolve tool because if you tried to do this by like creating a square and then cutting it out and trying to do anything or even creating a cylinder and started cutting it out it would probably take a long time and be very very difficult if not impossible so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe comment down below what you'd like to see next and we'll see you in the next video